Yo, 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 real quick. I don't know how much time I got because it ain't showing me. But, oh, let's see. Man, dog, I'm going to make a video real quick because I just woke up. Well, not just woke up. I've been up for like an hour or more. But it's like six something in the morning. So, after I scour my social media <laughs> and see everything going on, I got to check in all the chat rooms. I got to check in all the fucking sites, all that bullshit. But I don't know. So now I'm back. Well, now I'm here to do a fucking video because after I check in my chat rooms and shit, after I check my social media, I can't, came across the most bitch assness I've seen in a while. God damn. I just got out the shower. But then I just wake and bake too. So then when you wake and bake and get out the shower at the same time, it feel good, but you still like... Uh uh uh, but round, 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 round. So, <laughs> um, let's start this shit off. So, I came across some of the biggest, the most bitch assness that I've seen in a while on Instagram this morning. Now, I was just, I don't know, it was like four in the morning, four thirty. I'm just looking through, and some way, some. Somehow I saw this video from uh, Chelsea Handler on the Angela Yee show. So Chelsea Handler, I don't know how old this is. This could be a few days old because I remember some people in the Watchmen was talking about Chelsea Handler, but I didn't really know what context it was in. We just made jokes about her. But I see, now I see what they were talking about. There's this shit between, you know, Apparently, she can speak for 50 Cent now because she's his ex-girlfriend. Like, I guess that gives you the right to speak for me when I endorse a certain political party. Because you're my ex-girlfriend. But no, it's more than that. Way more than that. And what I did today showed me that shit. So I replied. I comment, commented it. Commented in the comment section and it says something I said something like yo there's no way in hell any black person should be listening to this white lady for political advice right it's not hate speech it's just it is what it is who the hell are you like like why do you think you you can talk to us like that why do you think we even give a fuck about your opinion like that but Here's why you did that. Because you're a celebrity. You're a star. You don't want to talk to us about this shit. You don't give a fuck about us. You don't want to talk to us. You want to reverse 50 Cent's endorsement. I'm going to even tell you all why she want to do that shit. So, 50 Cent's huge dude. But everyone knows 50 Cent. Everyone in the world, probably not everyone in the world, but most of the world knows 50 Cent. He can probably go anywhere and be recognized. So when you got that type of following, when you got that type of clout, when you're that big, people will follow you. They will do what you say. They will do what you ask for, you know, blah, 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 shit like that. So when you endorse a person that the mainstream media or majority they're not the majority, I should say that. The mainstream media, these celebrities, there's an agenda. And they don't want nobody to stick to go against that agenda. So when 50, 50 so big, that when he does it, millions of regular people are going to do it. Because there's not millions of celebrities. This is the point. Celebrities are only used as advertise, advertising shit. That's why I wear my Zach Crack shit all day. That's why I wear this release to snare to cut. I'm not a celebrity, but I know how the game works. We're being in, we're making content, so it's going to be seen. So you have to advertise what you want to be shown at the same time. So they love 50 Cent when he doing, when all the advertising is going good. When he's advertising whatever they want. They love the rappers, celebrity, when they're saying, making songs for Obama. They love when they're, so, I mean, you know, 
actors are saying vote for Biden. They love that shit. That's the only way. Now, remember, I said in a previous video that mainstream media only comes out of two fucking states. New York and L.A. That is the media. That is those guys who run that shit. They also co-mingle with Chicago and now they're co-mingling with Atlanta. But that's the industry. So now they want... Think about that. L.A., New York City, Atlanta, and Chicago. All Democrat places. So they're the guys who make the most content because they got the most... The, the industry has the most money to make it. But no, they don't make the most content. They just promote theirs to get seen the most. But people on like YouTube... And, you know, these regular people coming out, they're destroying mainstream media right now. Like Joe Rogan's views are probably doubled or tripled what CNN gets. You know, people like that. And there's a lot of people like Joe Rogan. I mean, there's Joe Rogan, but. um, Or you hear Joe Buttons talking about what he's worth. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. That's what he they are worth that. They're, anybody who says they're not don't know what they're talking about because we're in the age of information now. We're in the age of media now. We're in the age of fucking tech. So, 50 Cent, they've already made him into a rap god. Rap already influences the world. So, 50 Cent is a world influencer. Remember, I told you the fight is always to culture. Culture. So they're, they're going to use big tech and they're using big tech to influence culture. That's the only way you can beat America. You cannot fight them from the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific. We will see you coming. The only way is if you make the people kill themselves. How are they doing that? Through tech. So when they built 50 Cent, Universal Music Group, blah, blah, blah. All these guys built 50 Cent. He is now a massive walking billboard. Whatever he says, whether he sells his own liquor, whether he sells his shows, whether he do anything, it's going to blow the fuck up. Any celebrity has that power. Uh, 50 Cent probably has that power, probably one of the most, but all of us, we have that power too. It's called, it's called cultural influence. We are influencers. We are making content. But when we say influencers, what that mean? Me talking to people, whether 100 people see this, 200 people, whatever, 300, 1,000, it could go viral, whatever. I'm going to influence at least one person, right? So then you have all... YouTubers are influencers. 50 Cent is an influencer, but they have, they've already built him up to only influence what they want him to influence. So when he said, yo, I'm going to vote for Trump because of my taxes. No, listen, 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 listen. I'm going to tell you the truth. Trump's from New York. Trump's from the media. Trump knows all of these guys. Well, Trump knows what's coming because he's fighting with China over big tech right now. This is how China is influencing America to kill themselves with technology. I'm explaining this. So, 50 Cent, mainstream media 50 Cent. The cat trying to come in. Used to date Chelsea Handler. Fucking, um, hold on, let me get this fucking cat. All right, I'm back. 50 Cent used to date homegirl. Big, big celebrity. Big walking billboard. Much influence. He could change whatever he wants to change or he could help influence whatever he wants to influence. Trump is the head of America. The head of the free world. America is the head of the free world. China is up next. China wants that shit right now. Um, all of our wars with China are with all, they're hitting us with everything. They're hitting us with financial wars because we buy all of China's 
crap, but they know that. So we're tied to tied together financially because we buy all their crap, which means we're always in debt. But we're their biggest customer, so we're tied. So they're we're fighting financially. We're fighting. Uh, everyone knows that COVID shit supposedly come from China. There, so we're fighting on that front also. But we're also fighting with big tech, five G cell phones, blah blah blah. So Angela Yee has a big platform in tech, Instagram. She also has a big walking billboard platform that they have made. iHeartMedia has made Angela Yee into a walking billboard platform. Tech companies, media companies, they are hitting us through the cell phones. Tech. Um, so why, what is the tech battle? Fucking the white girl, uh, Chelsea Handler, came out to change 50 cents words how did she do it through your cell phone through a tech company tech companies probably getting more influence from china than they are america that's why they were anti-trump she told you no 50 cent didn't mean vote for trump hi bitch let me hear 50 say that but i don't even want to hear 50 say that if i i i, I did but i i really don't care because he will probably have to say whatever the fuck this is why he didn't snap on her he will probably snap on me before he snapped on her but 50 you supposed to be our homie you how you let that happen how you let a white girl come out and completely change what the fuck you endorsed that's your word I can't, I don't know if, no, none of my exes could speak for me ever, <laughs> but here's how it was played. Chelsea Handler needed 50 to blow her up because she was just starting and 50 was the new fucking shit. So they, the industry put them together and made Chelsea Handler blow the fuck up because 50 was the man at that time. But as you can see, maybe she speaks for the relationship. Which sucks, because that means a, a dude who we think is our black OG legend really ain't that. That's what's crazy. So when I put the comment out, they block that shit immediately. Like, how you block that shit immediately? Who's reading this shit immediately? They block that shit immediately and say I was fucking promoting hate speech and Instagram don't like it. A tech company told me that. Fucking immediately. Who can do that? AI can do that. Tech. Who built it? Probably China. Who's at beef with Trump really? Fucking China. So... If China can't come through the Atlantic Ocean and bust our ass, and they can't come through the Pacific Ocean and bust our ass, what can they do? They can influence you through your fucking tech to bust your own ass. <laughs> and that is what's going on. That's what the fuck I've been talking about. That's what the fuck is going on. And the Snyder Cut movement, if y'all are watching that, think about it. We probably entered that battlefield first. When the same shit was going down with AT&T and the Warner Brothers Snyder Cut movie, tech, when they were trying to go to streaming, tech, we had beef with Trump. I tried to talk to Trump on Twitter and my people who I was rolling with, TPZ, forbid, forbid me to do that shit for whatever that word is. Said, no, you cannot talk to Trump. Zach won't like that. Why? Think about it, y'all. Think the fuck about it. Why would somebody want fucking Biden to be in that bitch? So they can continue to rip down America like they've been doing for the last fucking 30 or 40 years. They don't want America to be great again because in that case... China can't take America's spot. They cannot beat our ass from the Pacific or the Atlantic, so they will use 
tech companies to influence us to beat our own ass. And it's working. Because y'all are dumb fucks. Not y'all watching this. Y'all are smart watching this. People around y'all probably are dumb. Tell them to shut the fuck up. Yeah, bitch.